basic elementary conversation about um, lighters in general. Different types, what fuels them, how they spark, what you're using them for, and um, yeah, and we'll just see where it goes from there. So basically, most of us, you know, 18 years old, however, we started smoking, 16 years old. Um, this is what we had, big type lighter. Um, it's not really, I mean, I guess there are people that collect these, or I'm not saying they don't have any value, but to me, it's just a piece of plastic crap. I mean, I'll take it if somebody gives it to me, but I'm not going to buy it. Um, but I will use it. Nothing wrong with that. So, but, you know, once this runs out, then, um, you know, it's just going in the trash. Mm, so but I do appreciate the uh, your Bannock Law Firm. <laughs> mm, but I do appreciate, I do appreciate the, the lighter. Okay, so, to start out, um, when it comes to vintage cigarette lighters, vintage refillable lighters, um, petrol lighters, butane lighters. Um, I guess we ought to start with just your basic petrol lighter, fluid lighter, Zippo type. And this one was a Conwall brand, I believe made in Japan. Um, has this inscription on it. I bought an entire collection I forget. I think it had 37 pieces, 26 lighters, 11 other implements or utensils like uh, cigar cutters or piercers, things like that. But it must have belonged to this gentleman at one time, Admiral J.J. Clark, U.S. in retired. Um, farewell cruise, 2, 3 of March, 1970. I'm not sure what all this other stuff is on here. Um, I don't know, this lighter's got some value, I can probably sell it, I did, I think I've sold all the others out of that by now, um, but, it was a very interesting fellow, I read a little bit about him, served, I believe, during the Korean and Vietnam Wars, um, anyway, but this is the last lighter I have left out of that, that group, um, but, to get back to the point, um, this is your basic petrol lighter. There is space underneath here where, give me just a second here, I'll grab a bottle of Rontanol. So that's your basic petrol lighter. It's got a wick here. Um, it sparks from the file wheel here. Flint here, held in by a screw there. Very simple, basic, just like the Zippo. You fill it up. Putting fluid in there until it's absorbed down to the wick. You don't want to overfill it, that's going to make things more difficult. But you need to get enough in there as well. So, Put that back together. So that's your basic petrol lighter. Um, there were, uh, that was, you know, what lighters were, especially around the time. There were earlier lighters. Uh, let me 
grab some, uh, grab an example. Okay, so where with these um, insert type petrol lighter um, flip top Zippo style um, petrol light, that's your you get your um, spark from the flint. You've got the fuel being the petrol inside. Um, there were some other, and I don't have examples of all of them, but before this style lighter, before this fuel and flint system, you did have um, examples such as the fusee or rope lighter, where this rope here, now this works off of a, um, a flint here, just like, just like this lighter and several of these others do. Um, but the fuel is impregnated into the rope. So that's an earlier fuel system. There's some catalytic systems. Um, I'm not trying to remember. I'm drawing a blank. There's some. Um, talking to Ted Ballard up at his museum in Guthrie. Um, he's got what he calls um, perpetuals. They're just constantly blowing all the time. And I can't even remember what they... So there are all kinds of things that run um, some there are fuels that were around before petrol and before butane which is primarily what's used today but just as an example as I said these the fuel is impregnated in the rope there are other examples of uh, different kind of sparking systems uh, like a rasp um, or files working together rather than a file and a flint um, so anyway, that's just taking a, a little step back, but um, most for the most part with actual pocket lighters, you know, this is the kind of system you were talking about, petrol and flint. From there, we moved up to systems where, um, oh, I believe it was in the late 40s or 50, early 50s that butane became available and popular and from that point forward then most lighters were fu fueled by butane um, most lighters that new lighters being designed or but you still had ones like this where it is uh, and this one I'm pretty sure was made in probably the 70s or 80s don't know for sure. One of the better lighters I had that I'd used before I really even knew what it was. It's a J Bello or E Bello. Um, anyway, you can see there's the fuel valve for the butane. Um, So it doesn't have the cotton wadding and all that. Does it? You don't just pour the fluid in like we did on this one. With this, all right, where's my butane? Give me just a second. So with the butane, you would have just taken that placed it in there, pumped it in, I don't know, I used it three, four, or five times. Uh, usually you purge that, take something and push that valve down and purge all the air out of there before you do it, but anyway, so there's that, butane, but this butane lighter, so newer fuel system, still um, has a flint sparking system. The flint goes in right there. You can see that leather. That's the, where the flint goes in. That's the flint you can see. So, newer fuel system, older flint uh, sparking system. Way better option than this plastic. Okay, then as we move forward, um, let's see, then we're going to have lighters like this. Very common, you can buy these at Walmart, and it's not, I don't know, it was, I'm having trouble adjusting this one at the time, so it's, I haven't really been using it a lot. But as you can see, 
butane fueled and it is a piezoelectric fuel or a sparking system which is the way I understand it piezoelectric is I believe it's some kind of quartz crystal or quartz rock or glass or something very fine material being uh, rubbed together to make the spark but also from what I understand I've never repaired one of these the sparking part I don't really work on butane lighters either um, so if it's piezo and butane then I'm probably out um, if it's butane and flint then I can probably help you with the sparking system um, but I'm not probably not gonna be able to help you with any kind of butane uh, I just don't really mess with them too many small parts too much uh, I don't know I don't know maybe more later just up to this point I haven't really messed with them had my hands full with the petrol lighters but anyway there's your uh, piezoelectric um, see now that I said it, this one's gonna work perfectly but you're gonna uh, so this has new fuel and the new sparking system. New fuel butane sparking piezoelectric. Um, similar, similar here. And this one's plastic also. It's a little bit better option than this one because you can refill it. It's a really decent lighter. It's just, you know, I don't like that it's made out of plastic, but whatever. Um, but the piezoelectric spark and it burns a little different I'm not sure that it burns like it's supposed to but either one of these two right here um, either one of them So piezoelectric butane, piezoelectric butane, Zippo. Um, now another option, you know, like I said, if you're just lighting a cigarette, then this flame will probably work for you. If um, you're trying to suck flame into that, into that uh, bong. Yeah, this lighter would work for some people. Yeah, this would definitely work. Um, but a Zippo, for sure not gonna work very good to suck down into a pipe. That's where you need something like, say, the Beatty Jet Lighter. That will have a flame like a Zippo. It has a chute over here off the side to where it can produce a flame out to about here. Uh, um, you can check that out. I'll link to that video. It's got several Beatty Jet videos on YouTube on this channel, but I will link to uh, at least one of them in uh, the segment, the section below the video. Um, so that's another option. There's many reasons why you use the lighter you use. But those are your basic options nowadays. Something that's disposable. Something that's older. Something that not a whole lot of people use anymore. That requires a little bit of work and maintenance. Like a Zippo. Well then you also have a lot of people complain about Zippos. But they leak a lot of fuel and they do. Fill, fill one completely up, you're going to be lucky if it lasts a week. Um, no matter how much you use it, just simply because of the fit and the way that it all goes together. There's just too much room there for it to evaporate out. A lighter like this, an aluminum lighter, um, it's a closed tank. So it's not just fitted in there and seated metal to metal it's actually got a seal uh, a threaded seal 
its closing tank. And not only that, but then the wick is completely sealed with the metal uh, lift arm. So, that's about all I can think of. We can discuss any number of those things about any of these lighters, about what you're using them for. Um, and, um, you know, how to fix them, how to use them, why you should. Dependableflame.com, our YouTube channel, eBay, uh, Pinterest, and, um, Look forward to the next video.